Okay, hi, it's Turd here with another basic tutorial, and this one's going to be on uh, making a poster for a room. Just a basic poster with uh, UV mapping and stuff like that. So we're going to make a wall now. Uh, so just make a wall with a cube, size it out, flatten it, and bring it up. Okay. Just I'm gonna delete the camera, so delete and add one a new one, so it'll just be more lined up. Add mesh or add camera right there. Then bring it up and bring it out and rotate it up and maybe bring it out more. Okay, now we're gonna add the plane for the poster. Okay, put it right in the middle add mesh plane and rotate it right up okay then bring it back pretty much touching the plane but don't make it go into it and then when you get it pretty close just go into edit mode or before you do that you might want to size it thinner like uh... and longer for more so it looks more like a poster okay then go into edit mode and w subdivide like four or five times and after you do that you're gonna want to go into weight paint and uh just color some corners on this not too much just a little bit and some in the middle uh, just so it it pins the cloth down so it doesn't fall or anything okay now we're just going to go back into object mode and now we're going to apply the texture or UV map the texture onto this and um, just find a picture of a poster you want on any kind and uh, put it into a file or desktop or something okay then uh... go up when you got the picture go to the top where you see the arrow right click split screen and click again go down to this box go to uv imager image editor or whatever and um, first we have to unwrap this so back go back to this screen go into uh, edit mode make sure it's all selected so press a and you hit U, unwrap. Now it's here. Go to image right here. Open. Find your image. This one's Metallica. So grab uh, your plane and size it out if you need to fit uh, fit the right size of your poster right there and to view it go into this box and go to texture and see it's upside down so we have to flip this so hit R to rotate it and flip it over if it's upside down okay now we've got the UV mapping calculations down now we have to apply this texture actually onto it so we can view it in the render so go back into object mode go down to the shading tab right here go to add new and add a new go over to the texture buttons right here and add new image where it says none and image and then where it says load there will be arrows just uh, click on the arrows and the, your picture should be right here okay then go back into the material buttons and map input right here click on that and go to UV so now it's the UV proportions and everything okay now to animate this so it's uh, cloth kind of uh, we have to go to the object tab right here and then go to the physics buttons and right where it says cloth click that uh, put down the stiffness a bit and press pinning of cloth and um, 
now that that's done, you can press Alt A, and it'll move around a little bit to give it more of a poster kind of look, I guess, to look like it's not completely straight. So then, after you uh, view it for a couple of frames, you can go down here where there's arrows and it says one, and uh, when you go up, it'll move the frames along. So uh, put it to a frame that you want, where it's particularly uh, like wavy, and 20 is probably good for me. Okay, view the camera. Oh, first before you do that, just make sure the light is, yeah, see the light's behind here? Just move it forward, if it isn't, or if it is behind it, and view the camera grab it so it's centered on it bring it in if you have to and we're just gonna render this okay see uh, one more thing is I think we forgot to set smooth so you can see some uh, faces that are kinda not very smooth so you can go into uh, object mode and or edit mode, sorry, on the poster, and uh, go to set smooth right here, or it's object or edit mode, doesn't matter, set smooth. Okay, now render it, and it should look smooth and wavy, and it should be okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I might have to move it back a little bit, because you can see the shadow behind it, but that looks pretty good right there. So I'll try that out, and uh, it's a good way of doing a poster, basic way. So uh, thanks for watching this.